So today we will have a look at a few modules that can help us with live looping in VCVRAC. So here I have a sequence coming from IONS and with the help of FATE, also from the geodesics, we get a bit of variation to the sequence. This is sequencing the TSL and from Instruo I'm mixing a few waveforms, going through a filter and some delay, it sounds like this. Very nice sequence. Now I'm a big fan of unsynced loops, so we will start with that, um, but we will look also at how to record loops that are in sync with the rest of the patch. So anyway, here I have source from Squinky Labs going through a filter fail line from Valley and Punch, which is a VCA from Vult. The first module uh, we will use is the looper from Lilac, this one here. It's a simple looper, but it gets the job done. From there the signal goes to some delay. I can play this voice with the Keystep Pro, with the mod wheel, bringing the voice in and out. This is SOS. So let's really record the loop. I just hit record and I will start playing. Just like this, and then when I hit stop, it will start playing it back. Very nice. I can also overdub when I click record again, it will start overdubbing on this recording, and the length of the overdub will be the same length as the initial recording, as the original one. So let's overdub something. Just like this. And I can keep on overdubbing if I want even more layers. Let's add some drums to this. I have here one gate sequencer from Impromptu sequencing a bass drum with Tremor 2 and also a snare, sort of a snare with a noise section of Tremor and another gate sequencer is sequencing a Hyatt from Hora. Not see it, but I have my keyboard here, so I can just use it to zoom in and out. Very nice. Now we can also add the bass to this, we can also loop a sort of a bass. So here I have the wave oscillator from Blamsoft going again through punch, so I have control with the mod wheel over its levels. Um, and another looper, the same looper. So let's uh, I will use track two in this case. Let's record a sort of a, a sort of a bass. Oh yeah. Now again, those loops are not synced at all, but still they are working together quite nicely. changing because they are not in sync. Very nice. 
So this looper from Lilac is quite useful and easy to use. Um, one thing to keep in mind though, the recording, the loops will not be saved with the patch. So make sure to record the things you like to save. Um, and now let's have a look at synced looping again with this looper from Lilac. So now we'll have a look at synced looping. And before we dive in, I want to show you a module that will help us make sure uh, we start and stop the recording with the clock. So the loop will be in sync with the rest of the patch. And this module is the trigger buffer from ML, which will not let the incoming signal go through unless it's armed. So I have here a clock going to the input. You can see on the scope that nothing goes through. Now, if I arm the module, the next time the clock is high, we will get a pulse just like this. We can also try this with a slower clock. Nothing goes through unless I arm the module. I have here again some drums, the gate sequencer triggering Tremor 2 and the hi-hat going through some compression from Squinky Labs. Just so we have a rhythm to record to. And I have here an FM voice with two FM operators. Again, I'm playing it with the Kiste Pro. Something like this, I guess. Um, and I have a clock going to the input of the trigger buffer. This clock is divided by eight, just so I have more room to start and stop the recording. And the output is going to the record input of the looper. So now only when I arm the buffer, it will start recording with the clock. And by arming it again, it will stop together with the clock. By the way, just so I don't have to uh, hit this small uh, button with the mouse, I have it set with my keyboard. My keyboard is here, you cannot see it, but I have it set so I can start or I can trigger the buffer with my keyboard. Of course, you can use any other MIDI controller if you wish, or also the mouse. So let's start recording a loop. Let's see, let's wait for it. We have a loop recorded. And it's in sync with the drums because again, I start and stop the recording with the clock itself. Okay, I have here another voice, Terror Form. Again, I'm playing it with the Kiste Pro, with a different channel of the Kiste Pro. This is going to the looper and some filtering to sound like this. louder right some chords maybe and again I'm going to use my keyboard to start and stop the recording let's wait for it again this is in sync as you can hear and I have a filter here that I can close a bit. Oh yeah. And I can, I can continue an overdub like this again with the trigger buffer. It will make sure that everything stays in sync with the clock in this case, but you can send anything basically to the input here. You can use any clock division, multiplication, other triggers and gates if you want. And only when you trigger the trigger buffer, it will send it to the trigger of the looper. Let's add another voice. I have here the grid sequencer from JW triggering the percussive vibration going through some delay. Okay, let's talk drums. I have here a bass line, just so I know the rhythm more or less. I have again ion sequencing in this case, the even VCO going through the bass module from Outin, and I'm sending the high frequencies to a delay. It will sound like this. 
Very nice. Now, to me, the best way to loop drums is by recording the sequence and not the audio because of latency and such. So here I have the entry and drummer sequencer and also the drums, the acoustic drums module. Now, this is a commercial collection, but if you are into having drums in VCV, recording, sequencing, and so on, um, this is probably the best sequencer out there. Again, it comes with the acoustic drums module which is an expander, so there's no need to connect any cables or anything. Um, but of course, you can use any other modules or drum modules you wish. Um, so let's listen to this a bit. Again, I have the Kiste Pro connected. I have bass drum, snare, hi-hat, and ride. Of course, everything with velocity. And this is playing again the acoustic drums um, module. Now we can record a quantized sequence. We have here the window of the sequencer. And I can select quantized or not. So let's start with quantized. And I will record for now just the bass and snare. Let's wait for it. recorded and here there is something that I want to move so I can just move it and again it's quantized Opalach. <laughs> Very nice. Now we can turn off quantization and record, for example, the Hyatt without quantizing it. Let's see how it, how it works. Sounds okay. Without quantization. I can also record the ride, let's say, unquantized. And now I can go back and quantize this, so I can select the ride and then say quantize selection. And now this is quantized. There are many other things we can do. For example, I can go to the to this snare, and I can say this snare, accent probability, velocity accuracy, for example, so it will change the velocity all the time. I can add ratcheting, for example, to this hi-hat. Let's wait for it. Something like this, and I can say only those three I want to quantize. <laughs> so again, this sequencer is super deep and super easy also to program and to record things into. And um, we can also mute, of course, the channels if we want. You can do this also with a MIDI controller. By the way, Entrian has a few more sequencers. Again, um, they are commercial, but they are super useful. For example, the melody, if I switch to another track on the Kiste Pro, I have here palette going through some delay, and I can record a melody. You can see it's a sort of a piano roll here. I can record the melody um, into this. Again, quantized, not quantized. I can select the number of beats and everything. So let's record something, again, polyphonically. Yeah, now, for example, what I can do, I can take, for example, those here, and I say I want them an octave up. And I can 
say also I want less note probability so there's a chance that they will, some of them will play there's a chance some of them will not some of them will not play also with less uh, different velocity random velocity right so I can really go and change things record loop on the fly oh yeah Um, but let me show you now an alternative for the entry and drummer, something you can use to record drums. Let me just mute the kick, snare and hi-hat. So you can experiment with this um, with the free module. So I have here the big button sequencer from Improm 2, which can also record, if I use another track on the Kiss the Pro, you can also record triggers here. In this case, we have to record one channel at a time, so we cannot record the whole drums together. And it will be by default quantized. In this case, I have 32 steps. So let's record the bass, uh, the bass drum. And now I can go to channel two, which is the snare. to another one which is the Hyatt and another one for the open hat so now we have again drums um, recorded and again I think that with drums because they have to be more or less um, totally in sync with the rest of the patch. I think it's better to record the sequence and not the audio because of latency. Again, there is latency when using a MIDI controller because of maybe like I have it, my finger drumming technique is not the best. So I think recording the sequence is best. Um, so here we have the free alternative, the big button sequencer or the commercial module which is super deep again if you want if this is what you are looking for in vcv rack this might be for you so here is another way to record loops again also here the loops will be unsynced Although, like we've seen before, we can use the trigger buffer module to have everything in sync. But in this case, we have Simpliciter. And this is what we will use for looping. I have here a bass drum. So I'm sequencing the bass drum with the new Euclidean sequencer, Eugene. Just like this. I'm also sending the noise section here to a delay. And I have here a sort of a bass sound with the percussive vibration being sequenced by Modulo. So already we have an interesting rhythm. So in this case, if I zoom in a bit, I'm going to loop, again, unsynced looping, I'm going to loop a sort of a piano or a piano with Leco by felt instruments. A really nice piano VST. Again, I'm using the Keystep Pro. And now um, Simpliciter has a really nice feature, the sound on sound, that we can record something. And if we hit record again, it will record what's playing back and what we are playing on top. Um, I have a video all about Simpliciter. I will put a link in the description to it if you are interested. So let's start recording some loops. Just hit recording. This again, this is unsynced. And now I can record on top according to the mix. It will record the levels of what's being played back and also what I will add to it. So 
now it recorded both which means also that now for example I can let everything play in reverse I have here the keyboard by the way you don't see it so I can do stuff like taking entering direct um, exact values so now it's playing back in reverse and I can record something on top and this will record the reversed playback but what's on top will stay um, go going forward Stop recording, bring it back to playing forward. Right, so you can keep on recording, keep on looping, building um, amazing, beautiful textures like this. Everything live. Now in this case with Simplicity we can also save what we've done unlike with the looper like we've seen before. Here we can also save our result and load it up in the next project, in the next session. So this is looping with Simplicity. Another way to loop which is also quite fun and can yield really interesting results is to have a delay with 100% feedback. So the delay will never um, fade out and we'll just keep on looping this can work with most types of delay modules I'm using here the one from VCV it has a maximum of 10 seconds delay which means 10 second buffer that can repeat itself I have one delay and um, with 10 seconds another delay with 8.3 seconds and in this case I'm using Leco um, Yanso sorry <laughs> Yanso also from Felt Instruments really lovely instrument um, again VST instrument so let's try and record a nice loop just have to make sure of course that the feedback is all the way up 100% and I can continue adding to this This will add to the buffer and depending on the delay it will add nice color to the sound the more um, layers the more you add to the buffer the more color you add so this is another way to loop and also here you cannot save the result but you can record it if you want let's add a snare to this a sort of a snare I have here some noise going through a band pass filter with some delay just to add to the atmosphere of everything There are also the looper modules from Sonus. I've been using them in the past quite a lot. There's also a commercial version that has even a sync input and the sync output. Um, I'll be using again the trigger buffer trick. In this case, I have again the keyboard just so I can record something in sync in this case. Now here I have a bass going on. I have the note sequencer from uh, JW sequencing the TSL and this is going through try. have oct adding some movement to everything now the voice i will loop is coming from kitchen sink from squinky labs and i have after the looper in this case it's lopulo i have tangents a, a lopez filter and some delay now in this case with the loopers from Sonus we will not hear anything until we start recording. So let's start recording a loop. Again I will use the keyboard which is here, you cannot see it. 
to activate the arm on the trigger buffer so I have something that is in sync something simple but you can hear that it's in sync again thanks to the trigger buffer module now here with Lopulo we can also overdub if we want but there is also the bigger version the Lopulo 3 as you can see here now uh, in this case I will use Pellet I will use another track on the Kiss the Pro I will use Pellet as the voice that I will loop but first of all let's add some drums for some more rhythm I have here the Triggs sequencer again from JW sequencing a few drums going through the Briatus for extra crunch oh yeah Now let's record some chords with Pellet. I will use the master channel for now. In this case it will not be synced. So if I zoom in a bit, you can see we have three channels. We have master, slave one and slave two. We can overdub on each of them. We also have separate outputs for each of them if we want. Also here we can change, or here we can change the uh, direction the, uh, of play. So now it will play in reverse. There's another looper from Sonos, it's called Campione. This one also has direction, control, but also speed, which is also pitch by the way, and start and end points. So here I have Terraform from Veli, again I'm controlling it with the Kiste Pro, I have some vibrato also on the voice, and after Campione it's going to um, some delay. So let's record also here something, we'll hit record. Also here it will be unsynced. Just like this and now let's stop it. So we have another loop going on. Also here the loops will not be saved with the patch so if you want to save them you will have to record them very nice so as you can see there are multiple ways to live loop in VCV and um, there is still no ultimate looper I have to be honest but there's more than enough to experiment with I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it useful and um, feel free to like, share, subscribe, and cheers.